what is diffraction diffraction is the phenomena of bending of light waves or deviation of light waves from its original direction of propagation from a small obstacle or from a small aperture is called the diffraction as you can see in this diagram in this case this is an obstacle and light is incident on this obstacle as you know that light waves are traveling in the form of wavefronts so plane wavefronts are incident on this obstacle and they bends at the corner of this obstacle and they bends at the corner of the obstacle and travel the different direction so these wave friends now bends at this corner and travel in this direction so these wave friends or the light waves are bending at the corner of an obstacle which is called the diffraction or you can see here there is a aperture shown over here this is the plane wave friends incident on this aperture and as these light wave friends or light pass through this small aperture it bends at the corner of an obstacle so here you can see the bending of light at the corner of an aperture or in this case at the corner of an obstacle so this bending of light at the corner of the obstacle or at the corner of the aperture is called the diffraction now to observe the diffraction of light obstacle should be small should be very small why it should be very small because wavelength of light is small as you know that wavelength of light is around from 400 nanometer to 750 nanometer so wavelength of light is very small and if you want to observe the bending of this wavelength the obstacle should be of smaller size smaller the size more would be bending of light so generally the obstacle size should be comparable to the wavelength of light for diffraction to take place as you are aware that as per the rectilinear propagation of the light when light fall an opaque object geometrical shadow of object should be formed now in this case as you can see over here this is our object over here and this is the opaque object so when light fall on this object a, ge a geometrical shadow should be formed that is the shadow should be formed in this region so in this region the shadow of the object should be formed but as the obstacle is small since the obstacle is small the light wave bends at the corner of the obstacle and these light waves are spreading into geometrical shadow region of that obstacle so let's write that as obstacle is small light waves 
bends at the corner corner of the obstacle or aperture and light spreads in geometrical shadow region so this is also called the diffraction so spreading of the light into geometrical shadow why the light spreads into the geometrical shadow of an object or an aperture because light bends at the corner of an obstacle so in the first figure as i said this is the shadow region but as you can see in this case light is bending and because of that it spread into the shadow region in other case this is the aperture so there is a small aperture so you should get the shadow region on the screen in between these two lines so this is the shadow but because of the bending of light as you can see here this side as well as this side these are the shadow regions but we don't see the shadow complete shadow because of bending of the light this light spreads into the geometrical shadow if the light if the incident light is monochromatic if incident light is monochromatic then because of diffraction at small object dark and bright fringes dark and bright fringes are produced in geometrical shadow so in this geometrical shadow you can see dark and bright fringes which we are calling diffraction fringes so what is the diffraction now we come to the conclusion that the diffraction is nothing but bending of light waves around an obstacle or aperture whose dimension is comparable to wavelength of incident light so that is the diffraction so we can define diffraction is bending of light waves around an obstacle or you can say spreading of light waves in the geometrical shadow when it is stuck by the small aperture or obstacle the dimension of this small aperture or the obstacle should be comparable to the wavelength of light 
then light bends and that phenomena is called the diffraction but according to hygiene's wave theory of light what hygiene's wave theory of light states according to hygiene's wave theory of light every point when what happens here when this plane wave front incident on this aperture when this plane wave front incident on the aperture every point in the plane of the slit acts as a secondary source and emit secondary waves in all direction that is according to hygiene's wave theory of light every point according to hygiene's wave theory of light every point on wave front acts as secondary source secondary source and emit secondary waves in all direction so these secondary waves which are starting from the different point of the same wave front travel different distance what happened here in this case when this wave front is incident so when this wave front this wave front when this wave front incident on this slit then every point here every point in this case every point on this wave front acts as a secondary source and emits secondary waves in all direction now these secondary waves are traveling a different path to reach on the screen all these secondary waves are traveling different path only those secondary waves which are reaching at this point are traveling the same path but in on either direction of that all these secondary waves are traveling different path and these secondary waves overlap and produce the interference okay these secondary waves as we can say that every point on this wave front acts as a secondary source and emits secondary waves in all direction so secondary waves starting from different point from same wave front travel different distance travels different distance and interfere accordingly so then what is the diffraction according to the hygiene's wave theory of light diffraction is nothing but the interference diffraction is interference between secondary waves starting from different points 
of same wave front so diffraction is also a kind of interference but this is the interference between the secondary waves which are starting from different point of the same wave front in this case the wave front is same this is the wave front over here so from different point of this wave front these secondary waves are starting and when they reach on the screen there would be some part difference between those secondary waves and they interfere accordingly so diffraction is nothing but the interference between secondary waves starting from different points of the same wave front now this diffraction phenomena occurs in electromagnetic waves we can see the diffraction in electromagnetic waves that is you know light waves are electromagnetic waves we can also observe this in sound waves also you might have heard electron diffraction you can also see this in neutron so diffraction of neutron also takes place as well as atomic diffraction so the diffraction occurs in electromagnetic waves sound waves in the beam of electron in the beam of neutron or in the beam of atoms some examples i would like to state you might have seen you know the cd and dvds you, when they are exposed to light you see the beautiful color pattern that beautiful color pattern are because of the diffraction because to store the information on cd and dvds there are some grooves made the grooves are made like this on cds and dvds to store the information so light diffraction takes place from that grooves and you can see a beautiful color pattern in atmosphere also you can see the diffraction in atmosphere there is a diffraction from small particles mostly the dust particles are present in the atmosphere and as light waves are very small just like the dust particles wavelength of that may be equals to the dust particles and so this small particles diffract the light you might have observed the rings visible around bright source of light just like in you know, the sun or moon even street bulbs you know during the rainy season you can see very nice rings around this source so these are some examples which we can see in the nature